morning everybody. Um, Tom asked me to speak to you today about um, what a journey is like for a small company, a, a small medium enterprise. I started the business 20 years ago with my brother and I have to say taking sustainability to the heart of our business agenda has got to be the best thing I've done in nearly 20 years. Um, I thought five areas were good to focus on, why we decided to do it, which is what people ask me, how we went about it, what the results have been, what's helped us to be successful and what the benefits have been. Um, I was invited in 2006, in June 2006 by Sky to um, see Al Gore speak in London at the Tate. I went along thinking I was doing business really well, feeling quite happy about my life and quite happy about myself. And it was a little bit like one of those stab through the hearts moment or, or an epiphany. Um, I rewarded my good salespeople with fancy cars, um, which was obviously not the best thing in the world to be doing in, in the future, and um, didn't really recycle a thing. So came back charged, as I am as a person, quite passionate, and went to the board and said, we're doing this all wrong, we need to go right back to the beginning and start again. So um, I'm known as the now woman, and I think they just said, well, do it to shut me up, not really knowing that it could actually change our business in the best way possible. Um, so first thing I did was went to the carbon neutral company and uh, went back to Sky and said, what do I do? Um, they said, well, first you need to measure your carbon footprint. Didn't even know what that was at the time, so spoke to the Edinburgh Centre of Carbon Management and um, put together what we called a carbon neutral steering group. And that was really made up of people that I thought wouldn't say no to me when I asked them to help us. Um, I quickly found out about Simon, who's here in the audience with us today. And he was a weird guy who um, had a fold-up bike that he rode to work and he washed his kids' nappies. And um, they said he should be somebody that you should have as part of this. In about 10 seconds of being there, it was quite plainly that he should be the person who was leading that. So I went back to the board and said, Simon really knows his stuff on this and we need to empower him. Um, by that stage, there was a lot more happening in the press. So other people were starting to talk about how important this was. And I said, look, if we can be the first company to be doing this, I sell pens and pencils, everybody else does as well, and everybody buys them. If we can do this really well and be the best at it, it's going to change our business. And um, so the first thing Simon did was to put a plan together. And he um, reckoned that in, 25, in six months, we could reduce our carbon emissions by 25%. In 12 months, we could do it by 50%. And in three years, we could do it by 75%. Um, by then, we worked out our carbon emissions were 1,078 tonnes. And 88% of that was in our use of transporting goods and products around the country. So we put in a dynamic vehicle routing system. We did lots of things, but here's an example of about four, um, which took two vans off the road. Now I started to get the board's interest. That saved us 100 grand. Um, we changed the car policy, which was a, a big thing to do, but it was amazing how many people were on board with this because they were being taxed hugely anyway. Um, we put something together to reduce um, uh, our waste um, and we did things like change our electric light bulbs, we got staff involved, we made it really fun. We had our first CSR day, we've got our fourth on Thursday, so we invited 200 customers and prospects. And um, we decided that we would communicate, so this was six months after I'd seen Al Gore speak, that we'd communicate what we were going to do as a business. We launched our plan in February 2007, and we sort of said to everybody, look, why don't you go away and do something about this, and come back in 12 months' time and share your stories with us. Um, we did, we've done lots of things since then to keep the, the programme going, like launching our own ambassador scheme, a little bit like the gentleman spoke about earlier, where we help people at home. Um, so we've done lots of things. That's a bit about the how. The results have been, um, we're just at the end of three years, we've reduced our carbon emissions by 65%. Um, we've reduced our waste to landfill by 92%. And we've won over 14 national awards.